Well, good afternoon, or good evening. It's quarter past six on the 10th of January, 23. Yeah, quite a miserable day in Scotland, isn't it? And, um, I'm just cooking off my tea, so I just took a, a few minutes to speak to camera. I might load some stuff tonight about Glen Almond, I don't know. See how it goes. It's quite... It's quite tiresome stuff to do that, but uh, it passes away the hours, doesn't it? I was thinking about yesterday, how slowly the day went and how quickly today's day has gone. I'll start that again. How quickly today's day has gone in comparison with yesterday, which seemed to go forever. And I mentioned quite a, a lot about time is not consistent. It slows down, speeds up, and overall time is uh, going much faster than it was 50 years ago even. Even 30 or 40 years ago. You probably find that out yourself. Uh, from the moment you get up, you're uh, already starting to go back to your bed again. I had intended going down to see Up and Down today. I had... Uh, I was driving back from town, I thought I'll just go down and see up and down and I thought well I'm not sure about that either because um, one thing she may just uh, slam the door in my face and shout from the other side get away or she might uh, well I don't know but uh, I think from recollections that uh, Tuesday is normally our day that she spends in complete solace and quiet doing a crossword she likes to do the Times crossword and uh, Sunday Times crossword and uh, the Telegraph crossword all on the same day. In fact, I remember she gave me a call there not so long ago. Uh, well, when I say not so long ago, it's, it's, it's starting to... Well, it's a few months ago now. And she said, do you mind uh, assisting me with this crossword puzzle? I said, no, well, not really. I said, the whole idea of the crossword puzzle up and down is um, that you start and complete it yourself. So she put the phone down. And then the phone rang again. I saw it was her number. I said, uh, yes, up and down. Is it about the crossword? And she said, yes, please help me. I said, well, go on, try me. And um, she said, it's something... Something you're wearing, wear on top of your head. And it's something, something tea. And I just said to her, I don't know. I don't think she's forgiven me for that. Um, she, uh, she couldn't get it herself. I did, I did say to her, I, says, I think several weeks afterwards, I said, uh, how did you get on with the... Uh, the crossword. And she said, I completed it all except for one. I said, what, what, what was that now? She says, uh, 13 down. I says, uh, remind me. And she said, it was something you wear on top of your head. I says, you've no idea? And she said, uh, well, I thought of cap. But it didn't end in the, the letter T, so... I was puzzled, I was struggling. I said, well, never mind about that, uh, up and down. So, um, yes, I abandoned my trip to go down to see her today, but I have been considering her thoughts. She's not been sending any energies that I'm aware of overnight, but uh, certainly I, I can find her. And she seems to be in deep thought. In fact, I think that, in some respects, I think she's... Um, struggling with her thoughts at the moment. I don't wish her any harm. And she knows my uh, contact details, so she, she's uh, feeling rather pressed at the moment, but uh, of course I'm not going to contact her. It's not my turn, as they say. I know that sounds rather childish, but uh, you no. Know, one has to stand the ground from time to time and uh, if up and down wants to uh, be in touch and let it be. 
and I'm happy to answer any queries, even if it's uh, something to do with the crossword. So, um, I've been quite busy. I was down at my GP today. I made a, an appointment for my doctor about 10 years ago for the 10th of January 2023, and the receptionist said, I, I think we'll be going to be fully booked for that date. And I said, well, uh, do you suggest I uh, time travel further back um, so that I can uh, get the appointment sorted out for that date? And she said, I'm not with you. I said, well, perhaps if I go back to maybe uh, 2005 or something, or 2004, and we, we uh, then book forward for the 10th of January 2023, you might have available space for the appointment. So she chuckled and she said, oh, I see what you mean. But anyway, um, I managed to get this appointment 10 years ago and uh, she said to me, uh, I'm not sure which doctor it will be because we don't know who will be working at that time. Most of them are now retired. In fact, most of them are retiring. Most of them are bailing out of the NHS before the pension pot dries up. And um, I was uh, down to my GP and uh, he says, uh, Oh, oh, what's this matter with you, Andrew? Oh, before you answer, let me guess. It's something to do with seasonal affective disorder. And I said, uh, yes, how did you know, Doctor? He says, uh, well, it's written all over your face, apart from the fact you're wearing a face mask, because you've uh, not allowed in a building without one. And um, so I said, yes, it's uh, seasonal affective disorder. Uh, it's been a bit of a struggle, of, uh, especially the last four to five weeks. It's been uh, rather chronic in some some regard. And uh, so we started chatting away about different stuff about it. And uh, I was telling him. And then I saw him yawning. I says, uh, are you feeling a bit uh, fatigued yourself, Doctor? And he says, no, I'm just getting a bit fed up listening to you. So it doesn't help my low self-esteem at the moment with that comment and he says so he started laughing and uh, he said to me you you really should be a a comedian should you make me laugh with all your woes and misery every every winter <laughs> and I said to him I says well doctor I can't help it I says it's something to do with the daylight he says do you ever go out of the house during the day I says no I'm too busy too busy for what? I'm too busy waiting in the maybe up and down or turn up at the door. Oh, don't be ridiculous. She's not going to turn up at your door in the daylight. She's never going to turn up at all. I says, oh, thanks very much, Ed, Doctor. That uh, cheers me up no end. So um, then he, uh, he continued to say, well, what have, you, what have you done with yourself this year? Have you, have you taken any bit of a knee? I says, yes. Have you been under the sun lamp? I says, uh, no. He says, well, um, have you been out in the sunshine? I says, there haven't been any sunshine. He says, no, no, there has. No, oh well, no wonder you're ill. Um, okay, he says, what we'll do is um, we'll do nothing as usual and I'll see you next year. I says, well, thank you very much for your time. Shall I make an appointment for um, the year 30, uh, 2038? And he says, um, yes, I won't be here, but um, I'm retiring. But uh, if you speak to the reception, she'll book you in. <laughs>